Hi guys, it's Mr. Costa. I just wanted to log in and uh, do a little tutorial and show you how we can access our N2Y account so you can do some assignments at home. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're just going to type in n2y.com. This is the website. We do this at school so the kids are pretty familiar with um, the activities on there. So you're going to either this is your homepage, so you're either going to click here or you can even click here and it's going to give you a sign in option. You're going to click sign in and then you're going to go to student. Once you go to student, it's going to give you this login page and I've already got permission from Julia's mom to use her login so we can see it. So everybody's login is going to be their first and last name together with no spaces. So for Julia, we're just going to do her first name, Julia and her last name and everyone has the same password your password is going to be Acosta so it's A-C-O-S-T-A -A. and we're going to log in and this is what you're going to see as soon as you log in you'll see your child's name on top and then you're going to see my activities so since it is April we have um, a brand new set of activities available for everyone to do and then if you keep scrolling down it says my library books right here and everybody has a different set of library books so this is what Julia's library books look like your child's library books look might look a little bit different so I'm just gonna go through a couple of these activities and show you what you can do with each one so for instance, I'm going to show you this first one. It says letters and sounds activity one. Um, and you'll see that the first couple ones are reading and writing and then it turns into math. And then we also have um, some uh, like related content. You'll find some science projects in there. So don't feel pressured to try to complete every single activity you see on here. If you see down here, we have some pretty simple math with counting, um, and then it gets a little bit more difficult uh, with like adding and subtracting. And then we even have some multipl multiplication and division. Do not worry about accessing these, um, these activities. If you feel like an activity is too hard for your child, don't worry about it. It's just there available, but you do not need to click on it. Um, so yeah, let me show you this first one. This one is letters and sounds. So every month we have a different theme. So last month, if you looked at some of the stories, the themes were about sound. And um, this month our theme is all about um, using money. So a lot of things are going to be themed in that way, like our stories. So for instance, this is our spelling, I'm sorry, our letters and our sounds page. So it's just going to give you some letters on here. You can click on them. Oh. Oh. And it's going to give you the letter B. B. And the sound. So you can keep on going. It's going to give you some more letters. And even if you go here where it says go, it's going to give you a little um, navigation tool. You can click on it and it's going to go to the next section. So this section also has some pictures that go along with those letters. So we've got the word ocean. Ocean. And if we keep going, we see that there's letter, there's words for each letter for B, for L. Um, if you go over to the side on the left, you're going to find this earth. You click on it and it gives you some different tools. If maybe your child doesn't do well with the online um, version of this, you can always print it out right here where it says print. Click on print. If you choose to only print this page that you're currently on, you would click current page. Or if you want to print out the entire um, letter sounds and words section, you would click on all pages. And I'll show you what that looks like when it opens up. So it's showing that it's going to be about 13 pages. Um, but once this opens up, if you don't want to print out all those pages, you can certainly choose specific pages that you want to print out. So this is what it looks like when it opens up to be printed. So you'll see the first page has some letters on it. You keep scrolling, we've got some more letters. Then we have our pictures that match those letters. And it has the word on there as well. If you keep scrolling, you're gonna find just pictures. So maybe if you wanted to use this tool 
to um, have your student maybe write the word on the back of it and use it as a memory game. This would be a good idea to do with this one. You could have them cut them out. Um, maybe if you could print them out in color or if you want to have your child color them, you could have them color before they cut. Um, so that would be a fun idea to do as well and just like match them with the corresponding letters. If you only want to print out a couple of pages, not the entire thing, you'd go down here to custom and then you would just type in your page range. Like for instance, I would want page five to seven and it will change that for you and only print out what you want. So that's kind of what you can do with some of these. I'll go back and show you um, some other options. So if we go back here to N2Y and click home, it's gonna take us back to that home page of all of our lessons. So I really like this spelling page. So if you wanna click on that, you can see these are some of our high frequency words. Um, you'll see these words in the stories that we're gonna be reading. So these are uh, important to be reviewing over and over again. So we can do that, reading these words, and you click on it and it says it for you. Match. And it even has a picture to represent what the word is. So we'll go back to show you some more. And so you'll see these activities here um, just for a short time. It does change every day. So if you don't get some uh, things finished today, it'll be different stuff tomorrow. Um, this is one of our books for this week. And anything that has words and you click on it, it's going to read it to your child. Work to earn money. So you could go to the next page. Kale wants to buy a new basketball. It costs money. Kale needs to earn money. And same thing with this. If you wanted to print it out, you would just go to print, current page, and then it would create that document for you to go ahead and print it out. So I hope this gave you um, just a couple of tips of how to use this web page. Um, again, feel free to use it as you please. If you need any help with logging in or accessing certain material, please let me know and I can help you out with that. All right, have a good one guys, bye.